Hey guys, it's Speedy Potato, and uh, today I'll be showing you how to set up unnamed Sound Voltex clone, also known as USC. I've been getting a lot of requests, uh, questions, and you know, just general, you know, like how do I set up USC with my controller? It's not working, and I thought I'd do this quick video showing you how to set it up from scratch. So I am on a Windows PC. Uh, instructions are a little different for Mac and Linux. But anyway, what you'll do first is go to the GitHub website for unnamed Sound Voltex clone. If you scroll down here, um, since we're on Windows, you can download the latest Windows build. Otherwise, if you are on Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and follow the build instructions um, in the README. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and go to this other site where you can go ahead and grab your songs. Um, you can go ahead and choose which songs you want um, from a specific version of Sound Voltex, or you can go ahead and just download the whole 1 to 5 pack, and I guess 6 is kind of on the side. Once you have that downloaded, you can go ahead and head over, head over to Skins, and choose a skin you'd like. Uh, personally, I prefer Liquid Wave. Um, it's been working pretty well for me. Just a note, some skins will break over time as USC gets updated. But yeah, Liquid Wave has been pretty good for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And you see here we have USC, which gets downloaded as game.zip. We've got our skin and we've got our songs. So let's go ahead and extract them all. These files are pretty big, especially the songs, so um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for at least the skin to finish. So there we go, there's the skin. Um, so we'll take the skin folder, we'll go ahead and move it into USC, it's just called game. Um, and then in the skins file, or folder inside of it, you're going to go ahead and paste it. And uh, at this point, make sure your controller is plugged in. I'm testing with a Pocket SDVX Pico, which is my design. Um, go ahead and launch USC game. And you're going to be greeted with the generic um, kind of menu screen, the default one. So go ahead and go to settings. Uh, we're going to maximize this. Uh, if you want to actually do full screen, I believe the key combo is Alt Enter, and you'll enter full screen. For the controller to use, make sure you have Sound Voltex controller selected. Button input um, depends on your controller. For Pocket STVX Pico, you want to do controller for both button and laser, as that is the default boot mode. And then up here in key bindings, you want to go ahead and update these. So you just click it, select what's your start button, and do the same for the rest. Um, if you have a back button, or any spare button, you can go ahead and bind it here. Uh, on early versions of the Pocket SDVX Pico, we do not have a back button. However, this one does, and it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bind that. Now, if we go to skin, uh, we're gonna go ahead and select the skin, which we just added. You can change the settings here, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it as is for the purposes of the setup. Um, and you need to save your changes, so you have to exit this. And it's loud, let me turn that off. Okay, so go ahead and head back to settings. We do need to set up our, um, go to input. We need to set up our laser sensitivity. So let me just go ahead and find, yeah, the little hole. We're gonna calibrate it. And then we're going to turn the left knob one revolution clockwise. And I believe for me, I get around the value of three, 2.96, close enough. Um, the reason I exited settings and then went back in is that these key bindings don't save until you exit. So when you try to click start twice, it's not going to work. But now that that's done, everything's done in settings. So we can go ahead and exit. Um, and then if we swap back, to our downloads. Uh, we have SDVX 1 through 5, so this is our songs that are finished extracting. So if we take that, and you'll see inside we have each of the versions. So go ahead and take these. We want to move these 
into the song folder and we'll paste that. So that's in there. We'll head back to USC. Here you can test your knobs already. So you can see I'm able to move this accordingly. And then when you enter game start, it's gonna take a while loading in all the songs you just um, you just put in. So it might be a little skippy, yeah. But once it finishes loading songs, you'll be able to scroll, scroll through them. But uh, for now, I'll just go ahead and start one anyway. And start button works. We'll go ahead and check the rest. It looks good. Everything works. And then you can either click your back button to go back, or if you don't have a back button, you can use three of the buttons and hold start as well. Uh, I prefer button A, C, D, and then start. That will kick you back out to wherever you were before. Uh, and yeah, I believe that's it. You're good to go. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.